Okay. Um, slow refuel but because it's already paid for we don't have to, we don't have additional costs we have four pallets of tomatoes I could sell that low loader I really don't well probably need it to bring a skid steer back to the farm if we buy one Although, again, one of the things I'm considering there is <coughs> uh, <coughs> possibly getting that trailer for moving stuff around. Just because we can tow it behind our two trucks, whereas... Uh, that low loader needs a tractor. Okay. Oh, it's full of seed already. Do we not have any seed? <coughs> oh, the silo is empty. Okay. Um. A thousand. Why are soybeans selected? I don't. I think I, I had. I was considering planting soybeans, but um, Oh, is that sorghum? You never know. Uh, sorghum looks like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's sorghum. Okay. We will plant some of that stuff. that end up hitting that's weird that's really weird there is something pushing the cedar gaming issues something wrong with this cedar when it comes to driving past here. There's a collision that the cedar does not like. <clears throat> Which is going to make it difficult for me to get out of here. <sighs> yeah, because if I drop that cedar off, I can drive through here without a problem. There is some form of collision there. Okay, so we are not going to that field. Weird. Without a little bit of uh, assistance from uh, the lumberjack mod, actually. Okay. Again, not a collision. Okay, I guess I'm driving all the way. And what is the problem? 
I don't think it's the seed. I mean, we've driven through here a ton of times, and no problems at all. I mean, we drove through today with the truck and its uh, tanker on the back. But I drove past here, yo, know, was it last week, the week before? When we seeded this field with grass. Oh, that's a, a thing I want to check. Um, this is ready to harvest. Okay. Um, and this was the way to this field all the time. <coughs> okay, I'm going to put that there. And we are going to jump into this little thing. And grab the bar, because we have some serious money making to do. And at the moment, our best source of producing money is... Oops. <sighs> there we go. best way this farm has to produce a ton of money in a short time as possible is cutting the grass and making silage out of it. The second best way is to do the contract in the field just to the north of us, that's a lot of manure, and um, cut the grass and make what the uh, farmer there wants to make. And um, yeah keep the keep the bonus now I am gonna drive out here and turn around because short tractors turn around in short distances go on you can do it you can do it you can do it yes Also, this tractor does not have a three-point front linkage. Um, and again, I decided we didn't really need it. This tractor is... The only thing we've done to this is up the horsepower to 125. It came kind of like that Fent came comes with um, GPS installed. This one came with the front loader attacher and the front loader... Um, window on top so all set up for front loader work the only thing that was um, deficient as far as we were concerned was um, no not enough power and that now the nice thing about using a worker here is it only cuts the defined limits of the field it does not cut the bits around it <coughs> so it kind of makes it look reasonable anyway let's <coughs> back up and get this thing started we have sorghum set and off we go really shouldn't do it this way round. Um, what I should be doing is going across the field and then doing the three or thereabouts headlands at the end of it. So once we get to the top here I think that's what I'm going to set up for. And 
and again, this cedar could be used on the Massey Ferguson. Um, except the Massey does not have GPS. And GPS would be a ridiculous expense on the Massey. So, uh, we're just uh, going to do this one. Okay, GPS active. We have a signal from the satellite. Um, enter the equipment width and possibly uh, oops gonna drop it to 4.35 that's probably a good thing um, Then heading A zero. I think we're actually facing one eight zero, but uh, as I said before, it's close enough. Cedar is loaded. Cedar is turned on. We are in drive, not reverse. And off we go. Cameo yo! Well, thank you and good morning. Saturday is going well. Um, Mrs. Osa and Teenage Osa have signed up for church cleaning on Sunday morning, so after their lie-in, they go out for the rest of the morning. So we get a fairly peaceful streaming time, even when the kids are due to come over. They're they're going to help clean today, today. so uh, they'll probably be back around 1 o'clock. Not that I aim to stream that long, because I am probably going to get hungry and or thirsty before then. But we'll see. At the moment, we have fields to plant. This is a fairly efficient crop to plant as well. That's good. that there okay we'll run up and down the field a lot of times how about that that's that's the thing okay um, um, I'm not sure if it'll tell me but I think I have um, oh. um, there's a row marker oh that's a problem how do you raise and lower the row marker uh, we're going to have to look uh, right here Uh, build mode accelerates to left to right up down and that's what was impacting the shed um, so there's no hydraulic shift camera zoom in and out attach tool select next tool um, Okay, tool function one may be the row marker. So we're either looking at B, X, or Y. Let's have a look. Press B. Uh, turn on cedar. No, nope, that's not the thing. Okay, X. Uh, that's raise or lower the cedar. Nope. Uh, B. Okay, cedar is lowered. The row marker is off. So X is probably the row marker. This cedar does support a row marker. 
Um, so let me go cruise control R and turn the help text off. So if I go into Cedars, um, no till drill and ridge markers. Yes. So these come out to mark your next row. If you've got GPS, you don't need the ridge markers. Um, but I had activated the ridge marker, which is why we were collisioning with our cow shed. Um, but because I haven't selected that option, I can't see that we've got the ridge marker turned on. So that's kind of a little bit of a problem. Has the Massey Ferguson crashed into a hedge? Might need to go and check on that. Yes. Now we could get around that just by uh, let's do that lower uh, lower. Oh, oh, there we go. Unfortunately, we're going to mess up the edge of this field, but it is going to give us a little bit more grass to uh, collect. I said sometimes you just need to plan the field a little bit better. I think our turn radius is good enough. Well, might not be. <clears throat> uh, how do we do this? Turn that way. Don't tell Long Hauler I'm having issues with reversing. I'm sure he won't notice. And off we go. Okay. Goody goody. So yes, for the late arrivals we have bought some new equipment. One of them is the tow behind sprayer from Kubota. Came up on the shop sale and I decided we are eventually going to need this thing and for right now it gives me expanded um, fertilizer capacity so it's probably a good thing to have on the farm um, we're not using it for um, i didn't buy extended booms i didn't buy a spot and uh spray spot spray for uh, herbicide at this stage but, um, yo, know, it, it's the sort of size of sprayer we're going to use until, if we ever, um, get a self-propelled sprayer. So, um, since it was on sale, I swapped the kit that we had with the tow behind. Plus, the tow behind can be used with this at full capacity, whereas the... Um, the old kit we had can't because it's um, it had a tank on the front and the Massey doesn't have a tank on the front. Okay, one, two, three. Uh, I don't. Know. We'll get there. Um, we've also bought the TLX 2020 with the box set and the um, the tank. So we can transport milk because we are now producing a fair amount of milk per month. About 12,000 litres, 10,000 litres per month, which is about two tank loads. And... Again, with the um, the box, it that allows us to move the tomatoes 
to the store. Why is it going that way? I think our Massey Ferguson has got messed up. Okay. Take a stop at the end of here and we'll jump back to the Massey Ferguson. Probably two, two headlands at this end and then I'll start it on the edge of the field. For some reason and it's it's something I've noticed farm sim 22 um, if you start a tractor at the edge of the field on a worker it will pretty much do what you want it to because there's nowhere else for it to go but if you start a tractor in the middle of the field it will randomly pick a direction to go in typically it will be the right direction you really didn't want it to go in so in this case I set off cutting the grass and it went down the field where I've already cut the grass instead of up the field where I haven't um, I'm not I haven't done enough tests to confirm if it's the direction the tractors yeah, the compass direction the tractor's heading. So maybe if I start it this way, the first pass it always turns right at the end of it, or left at the end of it, so it will run down, turn left, and come back again. Whereas if I start at the other end, it'll yeah, it'll turn left when it gets to the end, and again be going the wrong direction. But if you're at the edge of the field, you can guarantee the direction it's going to go because it it's at the edge of the field. The only place the worker can do work is further into the field. I guess the way around that is to run course play, which I don't know, maybe I'll take a look at it. So I'm going to cut down here to create us our double headland then I'm going to go back up to the top of the field and just set the worker loose and it should just go straight down the field until it gets to the point where it's already done but for some reason it doesn't you know it's not saying oh well, this grass is cut I can't do that and turn the other way I need to you would probably need to check that for harvesting as well because um, obviously harvesters can turn the wrong way And it may, I mean, it may be this mower, just, just a thing. And helper, go. Okay, so that's back to doing what it was doing. That's, if I turn it hard enough, the GPS will disengage. One, two, three. And back to sewing again. So April the second, um, you know what I didn't check was our productions on barley. We are out of barley flour so we can deactivate that we are going to have to transfer the last of the barley to the um, the this place and frankly you know, I, I don't know if we're just going to be producing bread forever or whether we'll exhaust that obviously we know that um, we put wheat and barley into the grain mill and I think think it produced or the flour mill and I think it produced flour parallel process so it exhausted um, it produced twice as much flour while the it had wheat and then production rate obviously dropped off as we uh, dropped to only producing barley flour that 
turn that on. And the reason for the, the many skipped rows is because of the, uh, the hitch on the back of this. Keeps fouling the rear tires of the tractor, so I'm trying not to do that. Because it's just annoying, and it it can yeah you know, the the whole lining up the rows can be a little bit troublesome. So we'll just drive up and down the field one, two, three, four times, and that should end up with a perfectly planted field with a couple of headlands need doing, and we'll plant the headlands, and then we're done with the planting. And this should be benefiting our environmental score again. Um, because direct drill. One, two, three, four. And that will just leave... Um, what is it, the pH levels, which aren't registered until, I don't think they're registered until we, uh, we harvest. So that's a bit sad. So now we're currently at 7, no? Oh, that field is now on 70, what's the issue? Um, the top row, what's the top row? Um, uh. Oh, how do we show that? Forgetting how to show the total um, environmental score for the farm. So we'll try that again. Is the precision farming map so what that's dropped from 99 to 70 and the top row is the one that's missing so how do we figure out what that is oh, I am so failing at this uh, I forget. And that sometime or other it's just going to reappear and I'm going to go, oh, that's how it's done. Three and four. Going down here. Thing on. Lower the thing. And drive the thing. Do you see? It's not there. I'm pretty sure it's not there. Environmental scores. Nah, I forget. 